Silverstone will be the place to be this weekend as Mercedes again tries to claw back the gap to Red Bull Racing. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Formula One returns to its origin this week, Great British Track Silverstone, where the World Championship began in 1950. That inaugural race was, of course, dominated by Alfa Romeo's Giuseppe Farina, who not only led home a 1-2-3 result for the iconic Italian mark, but also went on to lift that maiden crown. The British Grand Prix, however, hasn't always been at Silverstone, with two other legendary venues having hosted, including Aintree and Brands Hatch. Silverstone, though, has held it alone since 1987. Which was a year of Nigel Mansell fever and his second of four British wins, his pass on Williams teammate Nelson Piquet, the stuff of legend. And Mansell's last home win in 1992 in the V10-powered FW14B was one that inspired many of his countrymen to follow in his footsteps. For me, the drivers that I followed were when I was sort of six to eight years old. That was the, the first few years I watched Formula One, and it was Alan Prost, Edson Senna, um, Nigel Mansell. It was, it was that era that was uh, exciting and interesting to me. Across the three tracks that have hosted, Sir Lewis Hamilton is the most successful with seven wins. While fellow champions Jim Clark and Alain Prost have five, Mansell is alone on four victories. 2021, however, will mark a big change, not just in the return of the huge crowds, as COVID-19 restrictions are lifted, but with the addition of F1's first ever sprint qualifying session, an all-new 100-kilometer race to be held on Saturday. As a result, the weekend format will change, with qualifying pushed back to Friday in order to set the grid for Saturday's sprint race. The result from that will then create the grid for Sunday's Grand Prix. And the experiment is highly controversial, given it's a quantum leap from F1's DNA and what qualifying has always been about, the fastest single lap of the weekend, driver and machine at the absolute limit. Team bosses, however, say it's crucial for F1 to have three days of action, either for the fans at home or trackside. At the end of the day, you know, we, we need to put a good show, and I think that's going to help putting a good show for the fans. So you know, let's try new formats, and you know, it's a great opportunity to see if, uh, if that's something we want to carry over in the, in the next season. Silverstone is in the British Midlands. The 5.891-kilometer circuit features 18 turns, 8 left and 10 right, for a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour. Max Verstappen broke the lap record for Red Bull last year. While there are two DRS activation zones, with one on the Wellington Strait, the other on the Hangar Strait, with two detection zones. Historic, fast and furious, it's time for the British Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.